if you want to stop the problem, you can't use the same thinking that created the problem. What can we do to get out of this mess and create a better sustainable world and all that? If the thinking we've used has created this problem, then we have to change the thinking of how we live. People who are looking for answers outside of the box, because clearly the answers are not inside the box we're in right now. It's kind of messy. Stop watching that damn TV because all it's going to do is give you the bad news. The bad news is going to invoke more stress hormones, more stress hormones, shut your immune system down, and you're going to get sicker than you ever were before. And now it's time to say, let's join into community to build something, something that's sustainable, something that works mm -hmm. with our environment, and it works with communities and takes care of our children, takes care of the air, takes care of the water. And that actually is the character mm -hmm. of mammals. Energy is life. When you use your energy, you're using your life. Mm -hmm. And if you're using your energy to look at a system falling down and being in fear and all that, I said, Ben, you just wasted your energy and you're wasting your life. But if we take that energy and put it into something that we're building that's more sustainable, then we're enhancing our vitality, enhancing our life and moving in a good direction. That when you look at the news right now, you have two choices. You can go, oh my God, the thing is falling apart and it's like, oh, my life is in jeopardy. And I, or I could say, what can I do to sustain myself and improve my future? And the answer is find those groups of people that are making a positive change. Add your energy to that. People are making a community stronger than ever before in these times because many of them are realizing the only way out is community. We must work together because life is based on community. Consciousness is creating your life experiences. Mm -hmm. Change your consciousness and you change the character of your life. The body is not a single thing. It's made out of 50 trillion cells. The cells mm -hmm. are the living entity. Consciousness comes from the mind. So basically your mind is creating your life experiences. And this is what mm -hmm. physics and now biology is saying. And I go, yeah, but uh, I have positive thoughts about my life. And yet my life is so negative. Where the, where the hell did that come from? Not from my positive thinking. Biggest misunderstanding is there's not one mind. There's two minds. They both are interdependent. They work together. But they have each mind has a different function. And each mind has a different way of learning. If you don't understand this, then the whole world seems like crazy world. There are two minds. The latest evolution is the conscious mind. Right behind your forehead is the lobe of brain tissue called prefrontal cortex, the latest evolution. That's where our consciousness is. I say, what is consciousness? It's connected to your unique identity. No two people have the same consciousness. Uh, it's also connected to your spirituality. There's an energy field that you represent. That's, and that's who you are. So I say, that's the conscious mind. I say, what's the subconscious mind? I say, that's a database of programs. Oh, to where, where do I get the programs? Well, let me first say, why do I have programs? The brain is like a computer. It is a computer. It's a better computer than humans could even make. But I give you the same the parallels here. I go buy a new computer at the store. I bring it home, turn it on. It boots up. And now I say, do something. Spreadsheet, make a drawing, write something. I say, oh, I can't. I say, why not? You got a computer, it's booted up. I didn't put any programs in. I need a write program. I need an internet program. I need this program. I go, oh, you have to put the programs in before you can use the computer. I go, yes. A child's brain is a computer. It boots up in the last trimester of pregnancy. It's ready to go. It's got no programs. You can't use the computer if there are no programs in it. So the brain of a child is not in consciousness, creativity, as a predominant brain state until after age seven. So I said, oh, yeah, but then what's the brain state before age seven? I say it's a lower vibration called theta. When you put wires on a person's head, electroencephalograph, you read brain activity. A lower vibration below consciousness is called theta, which is imagination. This is what kids up to seven live their life, half real, half imagination. You get your fundamental programs, how to be a member of a family and how to be a member of a community. Thousands of rules by simply doing nothing but observing. In theta hypnosis, you watch your mother, your father, your siblings, and your community. You download their behavior. They already have the program. So you download it. That becomes your fundamental program. Where'd you get your program? I downloaded it from my family and my community. 
Mm. And I go, geez, that's a problem because up to 70% of most people's programs are disempowering or self-sabotaging programs. I go, yeah, and you inherited them too. All of us have, okay? I say, so why is it relevant? Once the programs are in, then I could use the computer, type on it, and add my data to the computer. That's conscious mind. Subconscious mind, program. Conscious mind, I take the control back and now I'm going to run the program, okay? So conscious mind is the one with positive thinking, wishes and desires, that's creative. Subconscious mind's got programs. I go, so what? I say, when you're operating from your conscious mind, you're going to manifest whatever you want. Health, happiness, relationships, good job, fine. That's creativity, that's where we're going. Subconscious minds, whatever the program is, is what you're going to play. And since most of the programs are limiting or disempowering, you don't really want to play them a lot. Subconscious is autopilot. When the conscious mind lets go of a job, the subconscious steps in and grabs the wheel. And it will drive you according to the program, not according to wishes and desires, but to the program. If the programs aren't any good, then when you're thinking, your behavior is not good behavior. It's the behavior of the program. Okay? And I say, so why is it relevant? Because 95% of the day is what science recognizes how much time we're thinking. And I say, just put that number into the game. 5% of the day, I'm moving toward wishes and desires, conscious mind holding the wheel. 95% of the day, I'm moving toward programs that subconscious have because the subconscious is the autopilot driving the vehicle. Is my life coming from my wishes? I go, no, 5%. Your life is coming from your program. And so if you've got negative programs, which we all did, then 95% of the day, we play these negative programs that are sabotaging us. And then you would immediately say, but I would know if I was playing those programs and I wouldn't do that. And I go, no, you won't. And I say, you know why? Because when you're thinking, your conscious mind's inside, the subconscious is playing and you are not observing it because you're not looking. You're inside. You don't see what's coming out. We are all Bill. Every one of us is playing subconscious programs 95% of the day because we are thinking. And as a consequence, none of us are observing our own behavior. The only thing we see is the result. I got up in the morning with wishes and desires, success, happiness, health, great relationship, great job. That's my, my desire. And I go off to work and I come home at five o'clock. It's like none of that happened. And I go, geez, must, it's not me. I'm, I had all the good wishes. The universe is not, not supporting me. And now I'm a victim. Now, I, you know, I'm a victim of things. And I go, big problem. We are co-creating, as quantum physics says, we are creating with our mind. And if you let your subconscious mind run because you're thinking, then your programs are not supporting you. They're just manifesting whatever the program was that you got. And up to 70% of those programs are disempowering and self-sabotaging. Every night when you go to bed, when the conscious mind disconnects, the brain is slowing down, going towards sleep, which is delta. But between the moment when you close your eyes, I'm now sleeping. And before it gets to delta, it's now in theta. So that's why if you put earphones on, playing a program with the program you want to be true in your life, you know, positive program. You put the earphones on, you go into the bed. While you're awake, you might hear something on the tape or the CD. But the moment you go to sleep, conscious mind's off. So whatever is being played through the earphones is not going into the conscious mind. That's how you got the first seven years of habits, okay? Repetition. I made a habit by repeating something, a practice. I got to repeat it and I got to repeat it. And I got to repeat it. That's how I learn. You keep repeating it, and that's how the subconscious mind learns. Repetition. Practice. So, fake it till you make it. Just keep saying, I am happy, regardless if you're not. And then there's one day you won't ever have to say it again because you'll wake up, and by then the subconscious has learned, and it will keep you unhappy. Its job is to manifest the program. So, I put in happy program. Once I put it in, I don't even have to think about being happy anymore. It's doing it all of the time. So, now's an opportunity for us to wake up, recognize... If my life isn't working right, I don't need to go out and change the damn world. First, I have to go and change my own consciousness. Before you go out and save the world, take care of your own backyard. Before we go out and try to change the world, if we're still living from the crummy programs, then we're not going to make the world any better because 95% of the day we're going to play those, those programs. But if you write those programs and put in all the programs of positive things, love and health and all that other stuff, 
you don't even have to work anymore. Why? You could think all day long because when you now default to the subconscious, the programs aren't going to sabotage you. They're going to manifest your wishes and your desires. And that's the coolest part. You don't have to work on this every day of your life. Once you put the new program in, it's automatic. It's always been automatic, but right. the programs you're playing are not necessarily good ones. And so it's like, wow, freedom is just that far away. It's very close.